to your voice, your vote. And as the final election results come in, the state GOP only wrapping up their unsubstantiated claims of voter fraud. And we've seen the letters and the lawsuits, but all new tonight, ABC 15, Zach Renshaw shows us the new door-to-door -door strategy that's causing concerns for homeowners. Before Election Day, it was a lot of canvassers looking to get out the vote. Since then, it's been a lot of volunteers trying to cure ballots. But some in the Valley say... They're getting different explanations from the strangers on their doorsteps. <sighs> For some voters in Phoenix, it's been nonstop. I'm with the uh, Republican Party Elections Integrity. Hi, I'm Nicole Garcia. I think it's been about six or seven at this point. Many with the same message. I'm with RNC, Arizona. We're doing a survey. And you've been identified as the vote in question. We're trying to make sure that their vote gets counted because there's a lot of fraud. But is there? Arizona's election officials at the state and county level have repeatedly said there is zero evidence of widespread election fraud, irregularities, or vote counting failures. All of this stuff is transparent. We do it every single election year. It's all required by law. The state GOP and Trump campaign now suing, alleging based on a handful of sworn affidavits that Maricopa County poll workers incorrectly rejected votes from election day. Already, a website's been created to solicit more stories, alleging potential misconduct. It's important to win the election. Blake isn't buying it. We haven't seen any indication of voter fraud in any way, shape, or form. He was also surprised by the questions asked on his doorstep. If you tell me who she's voted for, I, I mean, it's passed now. I shouldn't have to explain to someone who I voted for at my front door. As he told one man dropping by, Our votes counted too. Blake's confident in the process and results. It's a scary thing to undermine these core values that we have as Americans. And he hopes our country can move on along with the uninvited door knocks. Can you call me? Uh, I, numbers on the back. I, I really, I'm, I'm not interested in the slightest. We mentioned that lawsuit, and late tonight, Secretary of State Katie Hobbs and other defendants filing a motion to dismiss, saying the lawsuit is, quote, based on nothing other than plaintiffs say so. Right now, though, a hearing is set for Thursday morning. There, Republicans will have to lay out any and all evidence or risk a judge throwing out the suit. Zach Crenshaw, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, it's now been what?